That's what we're following developing news overnight. An off-duty police officer is recovering this morning. After being shot in Queens, officials are now investigating the moments leading up to that crime to figure out exactly what happened. Fox 5's Kayla Mamalak is live in Jamaica, Queens, with the very latest for us this morning. Kayla. Yeah, and Dan, this is the sixth NYPD officer to be shot on city streets so far this year. But it appears the suspects didn't know he was a cop. The 22-year-old should be in the middle of an overnight shift right now. Instead, this morning, he's recovering here at Jamaica Hospital. What we can't allow to happen is that it becomes routine to open up the newspaper or turn on the news in the morning and uh, hear that another New York City police officer was shot. An unsettling sign of the times as city officials gather at Jamaica Hospital to announce exactly that. An off-duty cop was shot in Arvern, Queens last night when two men tried to steal his car. This young man was on his way to work, on his way to protect New Yorkers from criminals like the two who were arrested today. The 22-year-old officer was stopped at a red light at Beach Channel Drive in Beach 62nd Street just before 10.20 p.m. when police say two men walked up to the car. One tapped the driver's side window with a gun. The officer got out of the car. One of the two males then fired several shots at the off-duty officer, striking him in the shoulder. The cop then returned fire but didn't hit either suspect. Both ran off. After hearing the sound of gunfire ring out, officers from the 100th precinct rushed to the scene, rendering aid to the injured officer while also broadcasting the suspect's descriptions over police radio. Responding officers locating them about three blocks away. And as they approached, police say one suspect opened fire at the uniformed officers, striking the bumper on one of the unit's unmarked police cars. These officers are being fired at and did not shoot back. Instead, they chased the suspects on foot and apprehended the two of them a short distance away without further incident. The conversation we have been having over and over again, the overproliferation of guns, ready to use them on individuals in blue uniforms or blue jeans. They don't care. The 22-year-old cop now in stable condition. Mayor Eric Adams visiting him at the hospital decrying the city's ongoing gun violence and calling on other lawmakers to step up. Out of all the frustration they're receiving of watching the revolving door of violent people, these officers every day put on their uniform, pin their shield on their chest, put that bulletproof vest on, and go back in the streets. With all of that frustration, they still go back and do their job. Now it's time for lawmakers to do their job. And Mayor Adams says all of this will be top of mind tomorrow when President Biden is set to visit New York City. When they meet, Mayor Adams says he will lay out a series of clear items that the city needs from the federal government to hopefully try and get this gun violence under control. For now, though, we're live here outside Jamaica Hospital. Dan, I'll send it back inside to you. Kayla, thank you very much.